Greetings, writers, readers, and poets, and booktubers. This is Todd's Booktube again, coming at you with another video. It's uh, another book haul and some what I'm currently reading for uh, this for this past couple of weeks. Um, first, I would like to start off with I was recommended um, Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert. Uh, by I got found out about this book by the May Mayberry Book Club. Matthew, he's a fellow booktuber, and uh, I would not recommend this book to anyone. Actually, I feel that. It's got really nice descriptions of the of the places and the settings, but I had a hard time figuring out what was going on in this one. Um, can't really recommend this one, even though it's a classic. And on my book haul, I'm going to show you the books that I got from the bookstore a couple days ago. This one is Angel in the World Wind, The Triumph of the American Revolution by Benson Bobrick. And this book came out of Simon & Shoes to Rockefeller Center, uh, New York. It, it was copyright 1997. So really nice cover. The next book I got is called The Age of Napoleon by J. Christopher Harold. And uh, growing up, my favorite character or person from history to learn about was Napoleon Bonaparte and his conquest. He tried to take over the whole world. And this one should be very interesting because it talks about the age that he was living in, not just about the man. And this book is a marine book, Houghton Mifflin Company, Boston and New York. This book came out in originally in 1963 and renewed in, this is a 2002 edition, and renewed in 1991, first Mariner Books edition, 2002. So this is, uh, I'm quite excited to sink my teeth into this one. A book of fiction that I've heard many people on YouTube and BookTube talk about. It won the Booker Prize, or long listed for the Booker Prize in 2019. It's called Duck's Newberry Port. And this book, it, even though I got it from a used bookstore, is in very good condition. It was like it was never read. And um, this book is a... Library of Archives, Canada Cataloging and Publication, Copyright, Lucy Elman, 2019. Bib Biblioasis, Windsor, Ontario. We'll have to see how this one is. And then the last one I got off the list is a, it's been reprinted uh, many times. It's called Black Elk Speaks by John G. Neidhart, the complete edition. I really love that cover. It's beautiful. I know my Native American history I needed to brush up on. Um, I'm familiar with General Custard and the Battle of Little Bighorn and the Trail of Tears, what we learned in middle school and high school. But I wanted to get more of a description of what went on in that time. And this is a Bison Books with a new introduction by Philip J. DeLora and University of Nebraska Press, Lincoln and London. And this is a 2014 edition. First published in 1932, 1959, 1972, and 1961, 1979, 2000, 2004. So that's the end of the book haul. Two books that I'm currently reading are 
uh, Immanuel Kant, The Critique of Pure Reason. I found out about this book on goodreads.com. Um, I want to brush up more on my philosophy and read about the early philosophers and uh, just I'm I'm only a little bit into this one and it's it's okay so far. Another book I'm currently reading is called The Silk Roads, A New History of the World by Peter Frankopan. And this one is Vintage Books, a Division of Penguin Random House, New York. Vin First Vintage Books Edition, March 2017, copyright 2015 by Peter Frankopan. Yep. So that's the end of my video. Um, uh, please support local bookstores. Um, I support my own in Berkeley, Michigan. It's called Toad Vine Books since I live in East Michigan and um, try to keep them up and running and going strong. I hope you have a good day and talk with you later. Bye.